Here is a Muppet News Flash. George Lucas says he hates the Disney Star Wars sequel trilogy after what Disney did to his baby. Why are you telling me something that I already know? Hello folks, the Robozoid here with, well, something I thought I'd never have to talk about because I swore I was not going to talk about Star Wars anymore. As far as, as, far as I'm concerned, Disney killed it. It's over, it's dead, it's in the ground and buried. Let it rest in peace. But apparently, I guess people are talking about <clears throat> this video that surfaced from Star Wars Theory. Uh, apparently he did this uh, very, very extended video with George Lucas answering some junior high school kids' questions about Star Wars. And, uh, well, basically, I guess here's how some of, here's how some of it went. I don't have time to play the whole thing. I, I can't. It's, but uh, I will play you some of it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've kind of lost control of Star Wars, so it's going off in a different path than what I intended. Let's start with going on a different path than he intended. First, let me just say, I had to get this source from, well, Gary Beekler of Nerd Roddick, who does a great job, by the way. I still don't know if the glasses are real, but he does a good job. Are very much mine and my philosophy. And I think that philosophy uh, sort of goes beyond um, any particular time because it's based on history, it's based on philosophy, it's based, it's based on a lot of things. And, uh, you know, the, the, the first three basically tell you how a, a democracy... The thing about that is, George, you're saying with the, the movies, they're the time it's not of the time, but yeah. the lessons are timeless, right? Yeah, they're timeless. They, they've been around for thousands of years. Uh, they're based on uh, ancient mythology. Mythology was designed, ultimately, to give... I don't know, George. Are you absolutely certain this 8th grade kid knows what mythology is? Or what any kind of ology probably would be? <clears throat> I'm not 100% convinced. Because when I was in 8th grade... I didn't know very much either. Of a society, the tools they need to be a society, which means they have to have a common belief system. They have to believe in the same gods. They have to believe who their leaders are. They have to believe uh, what their history is. They have to believe who their heroes are. Now, I guess the question we have to ask ourselves is, does George regret selling Star Wars to Disney? I don't think so. I mean, after all, he sold it for four billion and basically got a net share profit of something like what, uh, twenty bucks a share, two hundred bucks a share, and well, basically add all of that up. This could be fuzzy math, I suppose, <clears throat> but in the end, Lucas basically has now generated seven point four billion billion with a B, yes, so from uh, shares and also the sale of Star Wars. So, yeah, he really does have more money than he knows what to do with, so no, I don't think he has any regrets about it at all. However, Disney has made such a mess of Star Wars that if they were ever to sell it back to him, George would only have to buy it back for a dollar. Because let's be honest, after what Disney's done to Star Wars, that's all it's worth now. You have to have that cohesion. And we're beginning to get it for the whole world. We now split apart, but I think we'll get there someday. But that is the most important thing, is that you respect other people, you respect what they're doing, and you realize that we're part of a symbiotic relationship, meaning that we all help each other. It's, that's the ecology of what we're in. If you take... E pluribus unum, one in many. You know exactly what George is saying here. I mean, we're all in this together, aren't we? Well, Disney's not, because they don't really care much. <clears throat> but I guess the point here is that, well, it's all about how George loves the country, George loves the philosophies, and the fact that we all worship different gods. In other words, my god is a bigger dick than your god. Oh, yes. There's also uh, audio of Bob Checkbook, or Chapek, whatever the hell his name is, basically talking to a caller from Alexandria, Virginia. And, well, basically, 
The exchange kind of went this way. Comes from David Almasi from Alexandria, Virginia. Please go ahead. Hi there. Um, it's clear that there's a new blacklist punishing conservatives in the entertainment industry. Uh, Disney Plus actors Pedro Pascal and Gina Carano tweeted similar analogies of current political events to Nazi Germany. Yet only Carano, who is considered a conservative, was fired from The Mandalorian. Uh, regarding Disney and a blacklist, this is the way. Well, thank you for your question. Uh, I don't really see Disney as uh, characterizing itself as left-leaning or right-leaning. You gotta be fucking kidding. Yet instead... Oh, you pig of a dog of a liar, you. You know that isn't true. That's standing for values, values that are universal. Values of respect, values of decency, values of integrity, and values of inclusion. And we seek to have not only how we operate, but the content that we make reflective of the rich diversity of the world that we live in. Uh, and I think that's a world that we all should live in. In our I have to assume that's a lie. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, Bob Checkbook, but nobody's really buying that anymore. Then the question came up as to whether or not Kathleen Kennedy would be fired. Well... Checkbook only had this to say. Greetings and salutations. Um, are you guys looking at firing Kathleen Kennedy or asking her to resign um, and promote somebody like Filoni or Favreau or both as a co camp hmm. Talk about a non-answer. Salutations. Um, are you guys looking at firing Kathleen Kennedy or asking her to resign um, and promote somebody like Filoni or Favreau or both as a co counsel you know what his answer will be. George, uh, we've been absolutely thrilled that we can have the kind of creative talent uh, uh, in our company, uh, the likes of Kathy Kennedy to run Lucas. And uh, we look forward to having Kathy uh, directing the activities of the entire Lucasfilm organization for many years to come. Thank you for your question. What'd I tell you? Leox Jossie is the eccentric pilot of a vessel known simply as the Vessel. Pilot of a vessel known simply as the vessel. Co piloted by Oh, yeah, what about that rock? Navigated by Geo, who appears to be a rock. Great, the officers go with the flow attitude. With his effortless piloting, Appy's efficient repairs, and Geo's quick response, the vessel safely exits hyperspace. Who would want to part? Yes, but you see what George is saying. It's Star Wars is all about people. It really is. It's all about people working together as a team. Uh, very much like Star Trek would be. But, <clears throat> of course, it doesn't matter to Disney because the beating heart of Star Wars was stopped by Disney. They basically saw that the patient's heart was having trouble beating and tried to restart it with a bullet. Yeah. <clears throat> but basically, <laughs> and there you have it. George lays it on the line for you. The real humanity behind Star Wars, the mythology, everything that makes society, <clears throat> everything that is made up of society, <clears throat> and also, yeah, like that Star Wars girl put it, the Force isn't female. <laughs> yeah, the Force is all around us, surrounding us, binding us, penetrating the galaxy together. <clears throat> and somehow, there actually is kind of a way to justify the midi-chlorians, since we all have cells in our bodies that basically make up who we are. And, well, without it, we wouldn't possibly be alive or have any knowledge of anything. <clears throat> so maybe there is some justification for the midi-chlorians. But then again, I may be going out on a limb with that statement. <laughs> Feel free to criticize. I'm always ready for it. <clears throat> so... This has been the Robozoid saying, well, I better take a throat lodgings before, before this video really drains me. Oh boy, using the force drains a lot out of you too. So, this has been the Robozoid saying, God bless George Lucas. At least you got somebody out there who listens to the fans. Well, I'll see you all later.